So today I wanted to, to uh, let you guys know the three things that I find the most important as far as modifications for your Jeep. And before everybody starts getting uh, upset at me uh, about um, modifications, uh, I understand that a stock Jeep is very capable off-road, but uh, when you take that Jeep off-road, you'll start to realize limitations, especially when you want to do some harder trails. Uh, the Jeep's not tall enough, it's, um, it's getting high-centered, um, it's losing traction, uh, slipping on, on the steep inclines and declines. So there are some things that you would want to do, and uh, I think uh, the list that I have is, is just the start. But uh, number one and number two kind of go together. Um, you want to start with a good base, and so I decided to uh, go with the Rubicon, the Unlimited Rubicon. And that's important because um, some of the modifications you're going to want to do anyways are already included in the package. Um, you're going to have the... Uh, disconnecting uh, sway bar in the front as well as the front and rear uh, electronic lockers and uh, the other the last thing that you'll have is the uh, the upgraded uh, Dana 44 axle housing in the front uh, which you won't get on the other two models so with that with that good base you're gonna want to do uh, a couple modifications uh, that you want to start out with are the lift are the lift in the tires um, so do your research you want to make sure that you get the, the lift that's right for you. Uh, you know, you want a lift that's got some, some good on and on road manners as well as off. Because let's face it, most of us are, are, are going to be running what they would call modified streets, daily drivers, something that you're going to spend more time on the pavement than you would off road. So it's, it's got to be able to perform uh, pretty well. Um, I went with a four and a half inch lift that's got uh, adjustability to it. It's got the eight uh, adjustable control arms. Um, it also came with uh, both adjustable track bars so that I was able to uh, to dial in um, the geometry and to get everything correctly square underneath the Jeep. So um, with the uh, 37 inch tires, uh, I wanna make sure that those tires are running right in the middle of those uh, wheel wells. So everything else is running pretty good. Um, with those first two modifications, of course, come some some other modifications that need to be made. Um, even with that uh, stronger Dana 44 axle housing in the front, um, you want to reinforce that axle if you're gonna if you're gonna run that with the 37s. So I went uh, with gussets for the inner seas as well as um, sleeves for the axle tube axle tubes uh, so that uh, that that gives me a little peace of mind um, that I'm not gonna break anything up front um, that in itself is, is good and so the third thing that I uh, recommend for an upgrade for modification courses is aftermarket bumpers um, you can stick with the stock bumpers uh, approach and departure angles aren't bad uh, but the aftermarket bumpers give you better approach and departure angle angles for for your Jeep. Um, unfortunately right now all I have is the front aftermarket bumper which I have got a winch on uh, but um, the rear bumper is still stock and um, it came off a ledge during an off-road trip and I've got a nice dent in the, in the bottom of uh, my bumper on the passenger side so I do know I need to switch that to um, something aftermarket but right now it's, it serves its purpose and, um, and whatnot so um, the other thing that you would need um, to run a full-size 37-inch spare on the back is, is an upgraded um, tire carrier of some sort. So I, I went with one that um, supports, supports that weight and actually um, it's just a, an upgraded uh, hinge tire carrier that has an accessory mount. And that's on the accessory mount is where I actually have mounted my high lift jack. Um, so recovery gear is important Don't condone going off-road by yourself But if for some reason you do you want to make sure that you're able to uh, Get yourself out of that situation um, So those are the three things that I think are important uh, First modifications for your Jeep and as as I stated there are some things that will kind of go along with that But those three are the main modifications that I think um you would want to do first and typically they're the most expensive modifications I know you can go shoot the moon as far as expense 
uh, you can go coil overs, uh, you can go um, bigger axles, um, you can go um, a lot of different ways that will cost quite a bit more money, twice, three times the cost of the Jeep. But uh, to, to get it just road worthy and to off-road worthy rather, uh, those are the three things that I think are the most important.